Hello and welcome back and today I want to talk to you guys real quickly about how to access a TerraMaster NAS over the internet. So many of us when we set up our NAS drive for the very first time are too used to the idea that we can access a NAS over the network. For those that aren't aware, accessing a device over the network in, in its plainest form just means that the NAS drive itself is connected to the same internet connection as all the other devices in your house, your laptops, your tablet, your whatever. Now networks are a little bit more complex than that, but at its most basic form, it just means that all the devices are on the same linked internet connection in a building. Networks are how all devices find each other, how they're all connected together, and the internet is just connected to that network. All the devices on the network can then draw from it. But too many of you when you're setting these devices up want to access the device over the network and over the internet. If you take a look up here, you can see that right now I'm on this TerraMaster NAS, the F5422, and I'm accessing it over the network. I'm not using HTTP, www, whatever. This is an IP address. And this number here on the end, this number here represents its address on the network. All the devices, again, your phones, your smart TVs, your whatever, will all have a number here on the end, and that is within the range of the IP. Think of that as the doors on a street. If this number here is the address, this here represents all the houses on that street. And right now, this is house 120 on my street or my network. But to access the device over the internet is very different because once you're accessing a device over the internet from somewhere else, a coffee shop, work, another friend's house, family, whatever, you're accessing outside of your network and this address no longer applies because this address here responds to your network in-house, your connection. So in order on a TerraMaster NAS to access it remotely, it's actually incredibly simple and dare I say it, easier than almost every NAS brand out there. Because every NAS brand that I've dealt with, again, Synology, QNAP, Asus Store, Netgear, WD and more, all require you to set up accounts with their provider. Whereas with TerraMaster, all you need to do is go down here to where it says Remote Access. If you don't have it, head over to the Application Center and if it's not been enabled, it will be available here and just look for Remote Access here at the top and it will appear. Because I've already installed it, it won't. So here at Remote Access, click it once and it will open straight away. And it really is this straightforward. You go to Enable TNAS Online Remote Access. Click tick, and from here, name your NAS. In this case, I've put TerraMaster123, but let's make it something nice and simple. Let's call this NAS Fish123. You've clicked that, you've named the NAS, this is really, really important, and you say where you are based. Now again, if you're outside of China, it just says to recommend global, because TerraMaster servers aren't so widely spread as they are for Synology QNAP and their competitors. Click apply, and the device will now enable online access. And the way this works is... This NAS has now got an identification that, that via TerraMaster's own NAS servers, just our own servers online, their main domain servers, will now allow you to bounce off of their server and access your NAS. You can enable everything from password and user account credentials to two-stage uh, two-step verification and encryption, and you can still access your NAS because all of that security is still in place. Now, as you see, when I highlight this URL, if you look at the bottom left of the screen, you can see what the full address is there. Now, if I try to go there from here, it will automatically push towards the IP that we we're on before, because it knows we're on the same internet connection as that now. So in order to show you guys that this has worked, what I'm gonna do is now sever my connection with my home network. So that connection there is where the NAS lives. And what we're going to do now is connect to a new network. I've set up a second Wi-Fi address in the area. And not that one. We want to go to one to 5G. And now we are accessing this brand new internet connection. So if you were out and about using the internet in a coffee shop or anything like that, if you try to refresh this page, the page will take a little bit of time. But ultimately, it will not load. Right now, this page here, if we try to duplicate it, make it a bit quicker, we will see 
that this page no longer loads because we're accessing this now from outside the network with its network address. But now we've enabled internet connectivity and we enter that uh, the username, what we created earlier on, click enter. And then what will happen is we're now bouncing off the TerraMaster NAS servers and then it will give us access to our NAS drive. And once again, this is over the internet as opposed to over the network. And it's really that straightforward to enable internet access to your NAS while still keeping things completely secure. On top of that, unlike other NAS brands that ask you to sign up and create user accounts, the TerraMaster platform allows you to do this without creating those credentials, which can be a lot more useful to a number of you out there. And the other cool thing is, of course, that this address we created here can also be used with all of the mobile applications. You just enter this address as opposed to the network address when it asks you on the application to enter where you're finding this NAS. And it is that straightforward. They even give detailed instructions here on the left. Now you may notice the page is loading a little slower. That's nothing to do with TerraMaster servers and everything to do with the fact that the internet connection we are connecting to right now is just a mobile hotspot that I've created with my phone. And as you can see, it is slowing things down a bit, but again, it's not the NAS's fault. Now, if we go back to remote access here, we can see once again that it will tell us that link that we need to access because we're accessing this NAS remotely over the internet. And there are instructions included for setting up internet remote access on the mobile applications and other devices too. There are options, of course, for activating DDNS support, which is something you might want to consider if you want to take that extra step towards domain security. But this has been how to access your TerraMaster NAS over the internet as easy as possible. There's your options there for mobile devices, and I'm gonna disable this now. It's really that if you want to disable internet access, you literally just click that box, you click apply, and then what'll happen right now is it's now gonna kick me from this network or access to this now. So I'm gonna wrap things up here. Thank you so much for watching. If you've got any questions about the best way to set up a TerraMaster NAS, I'll be doing a bunch more tests on this device as well as a full software overview of TerraMaster TOS version 4.1.4. And I look forward to showing you guys that soon. But I will catch you later and see you on the next video.